What's up, everybody? Today I am I'm doing a little story time video, which I'll, I will explain about my thoughts, opinion, and and what some funny things have happened in my life. So here we go. This one actually happened not long ago. We were at our local fair here in the middle of town, and we were just like it was a festival basically. It, it we had a lot of cool rides and stuff. After going on a lot of rides, we did some chill. We went to a bunch of inflatable, well, I don't know what you call them. They're like obstacle horses. You call it like a bouncy obstacle horse or something instead of a bouncy house or a bouncy castle. But, um, well, we got a two hit, but then, um, I was in the line just, well, there is no line, I should say. There was no line. That's why right. that means I can get in, but, but just wait for the next kid. Had to get out before I go in due to safety hazards. And then this kid says, "Hey, you stole my spot." And the kid, and then I, I tried saying, "Move your feet, lose your seat," because he was ten feet away from the line, and from where he should be, he was ten feet away from the line. Seriously? Yeah. And then, and I just say, "Move your feet, lose your seat." I gave him the kindergarten saying, because this this kid's like eight years old. Well, that thing, he acted like an eight year old. Well, I, not that I know that he was eight or not. So, YouTube. Don't do it. Don't demonetize me. Not that I knew this kid was eight. He could be any other age. I I wouldn't have known if he was 40 years old. Okay? So, back, back to the subject. Back to, well, this kid says, You stole my spot! He was 10 feet away from the line, and then I just, I gave him the move your feet, he lose your seat lecture, and the, and I went in there. I went in to the opposite course, hurtled over some walls, squeezed into some tight spaces, his, uh, dodged a bunch of pillars, and then I got out successfully without a scratch on my body. Normally you would come out those things with a few scratches, like falling, and eventually getting spun out by the thing. <laughs> and, um... I come back over there for another round, and then Karen Child is literally, he's saying to his mom, um, hey, he stole my seat. He stole my part in the line. And then he challenged me to a 1v1, which I wrecked him in, and because he had trouble going over the pegs of the, of the wall, the first wall. I'm just like, huh, huh. So I just climb over. Or usual. I just hurdle over the thing because I'm tall enough. I, I'm pretty tall now. Oh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm still pretty short, but I'm tall enough to hurdle over the whole wall. And then I get through all the tight spaces and dodge all the pillars. There's, and then I get out successfully with him very far behind. And then, and um, he tells his mom again, and and I'm just, I give her the mm -mm 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 look, look like don't believe him. He's lying. He was ten feet away from the line. I'm just like. I give her that look, and then she believes me. I'm let off the hook, even despite the fact that I did not do anything. So, yeah. And remember, don't be the kid Karen at any kind of public place. Because, haha, <laughs> yeah, uh, a YouTuber would probably make a video about it. So here I am. No offense to this kid. He's probably just Karen. Oh, yeah. And just so you remember, or, or like, do not hit that dislike button. Okay, got it. Subscribe. Do not unsubscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Bye. Smash it.